Hey, what's up guys? I finally finished the Dell Optiplex water cooled project that I've been doing. Took me a little over a month. I uh, had a couple of minor setbacks, but now it's all finished, ready to go. And here's my crappy Dell keyboard. Just wanted to start out with the Dell logo. And we'll give you a little preview. First of all, got a little. I set up some lights, trying to get some lighting in here because the lighting's so terrible. Here's the paint job, the 780 logo. Here's the front of it with the reservoir and my disk drive that actually under here has my hard drives. I cut out this whole entire grate in the front and put a mesh. That turned out pretty good. Here's my uh, white Dell logo that I painted to match the rest of the case. This thing is pretty much turned into a horizontal desktop now. I needed a vent here to be able to plug a fan into the CPU header. And if it's in vertical mode, it's going to block that. So Sorry for my camera work. I tried to set up some lights so you guys can actually see. Here's the back of it. Here's my Wi-Fi antennas. Here's the drain port for the water loop. Here's a little switch for my case lights. Had to put some case lights. Here is the PSU. The PSU actually stops right here. And I put this extra little grate down here to actually mount it and to hide, hide most of the wires down there. water loop. There's my 60 millimeter double radiator from Alpha Cool with the fractal design fans. Sorry for the bad reflection. I'll take the case top off in a second. I put green dye in the fluid. Kind of give it a matching aesthetic with the green power button of the Dell. There's the R9-270. This is a PCI fan that I have kind of stuck in there to help vent, vent the case. There wasn't a whole lot of options as far as exhaust, but it works out good because it's sitting right above, above the GPU. It's a lot of work, but it turned out nice. I like the black on white paint job. I just painted this and left it kind of trimmed out with the black plastic to give it a good contrast. I even did the back side too, but I mean you can't really can't really see that, but let's see. There's underneath the feet. All right. Got a bunch of bubbles in there by lifting it up. It's right though, it's powered on. These little fans are a little bit loud. It's about as loud as like a normal computer would be under load, but that's all right. It's clearing out the bubbles out of the radiator right now. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Turned out nice. This is the disk drive. I just kind of skinned it out with some carbon fiber vinyl. There's a lot of dust in there already. There's the CPU heat sink that I made a while back.
here's my little case light switch you can see I had to buy all these fittings to make this T area so I can have a nice drain in the back let's turn it on The Dell Optiplex 780DT fully water cooled. It's pretty hot today where I live. I live in the desert. It's already, uh, I think it's already over 80 degrees. I don't know what the temperature is in my house, but it's pretty warm. Case lights actually on the door. It's not the not really what I like to do, but I had to do it that way. Here's the loop. Underneath the disk drive, I got a 120 gigabyte SSD and a one terabyte Western Digital Black hard drive. The loop pulls down here from the bottom of the reservoir, it goes through the pump, over to the GPU, and the GPU pumps out over here, loops around to the CPU, and then the CPU loops around to the bottom of the rad, and then the radiator goes back over to the reservoir. This is a 450 watt Silverstone PSU, it's really Pretty nice, it's powering everything. Like I said, these fans are a little bit loud, but it's no la louder than like a air-cooled computer under load. I could probably get a little fan controller on there and uh, calm it down a little bit and still be under temps. But. This little fan, it's a PWM fan that I actually plugged into the header so I don't get any errors on boot and it brings in some fresh air. The whole system could probably use a little bit more fresh air but I don't want to cut a hole in the plexiglass. I thought it looked a lot cleaner without it. The loop was crazy to build, it was fun, I learned a lot. I think my bins turned out pretty good. A couple little lumps here and there, but nothing, nothing major. So there it is. The Optiplex 780, fully water cooled. Got my 16 gigabytes of RAM. And the game performance is pretty decent. I mean, it's still a potato, but I can run all the games above 30. A lot of them can run in the 40s and 50s, even on high. So, yeah, it was fun. Definitely fun. There we go. It's a little difficult to do one-handed. There it is. I got a couple more projects in my brain. I'm going to start getting those ready oh man what a project it is pretty crazy but it's finished totally finished had to put a drain port on here that was a good spot it turned out good I can pretty much tip it backwards drain the whole thing all right guys that's it right there the Dell Optiplex 780 desktop, fully water-cooled. Alright guys, I'll be posting another video soon of some gaming, just to show you the temps and everything, but it is running really good. It was really cramped in this case, but I got it done. I got her done. Hope you guys like it. Peace.